Testing, testing. Is everyone able to hear me? Hey guys, testing. Is everyone able to hear me? Yeah. Hey everyone, sorry, sorry for the um so a little bit late today because of some technical issues. All right, just uh just checking is everyone able to hear me? Uh hear me and see me. Yeah. Let's pass it for that. Oh, this one will be Hey, just yeah, you guys, just give me a moment of setting it up, right? We need to uh use an emergency computer, right? Uh it's because the the login wasn't working. Um just give me a second while uh Ketcha tells me to <laughs> to approve a whole bunch of random stuff. Just give me a second. Okay, right. No, it's not. Uh, mission. Yes, uh, okay, I'll pass you here first. Okay. All right. Anyway, I'll be handing over the time to Peggy, right? Uh, to do the session today. All right. Um, as you can see over here, right? Sorry about the delay, guys. I'm so sorry. Right. I'm so sorry about the delay today. Right. Um, let me pass it over to here. I'm gonna share my screen with you guys. Right. Uh, entire screen over here. Okay. Here it is. Right. Yeah. Everything's working now. Right. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Right. Um, let me pass the time over to Peggy. Peggy, over to you. Hi guys, sorry, sorry. Um, just give me one sec, okay? Okay, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry for keep the guy waiting. Okay. Um. Let me see here. Okay, let's just start our session for today, guys. So today gonna be live trading section. You can just ask me or any pair if you want me to have a look. You can let me know. All right. Um. Just a disclaimer. All right. You sure? Um. Remember that. Um. Uh, sorry. This is um. Different. This webinar is purely for education in nature, all right? Nothing should be construed at investment or trading advice. If you guys want to trade, please do your own due diligence before you guys trade, okay? All right, okay, let's just start our section for today. I believe you guys know me, my name is Peggy, okay? I'm a trade analyst at Error Fraudulent Group. And uh, if you guys have the uh, account with Thickmill, okay, I'll... I also me and my team will be sending the um technical analysis um through um Think Mill Trader Club as well. If you guys have already account, you can uh, you know um add the support to add you in the uh trading room. All right. Okay, let's just start our session for today. Okay. Let me see if you guys have any question. Go. <laughs> Okay, all right, you guys. Okay, so, so, so. I'm happy that I see uh, USD CAD is falling because I shot from this resistance. Okay, anyway, let's just look at the DXY first. For the daily time frame, okay, if you look at DXY, okay, what you can see here, I think they're still falling. I believe they're still falling here because what you can see that the they make a lower 
lower high over here and then um, the view is like you know we'll bow off from the first support meaning that now uh, the XO is falling EU should be rising okay and since somebody asked me about gold okay let's just look at gold for you guys okay in the, the XY this is my first support in the um daily time frame all right so you have to look at the uh sorry go in head four. So basically, this is my uh support and resistance that I just drew this morning. So basically, go is falling um at the beginning of the market open right this morning. Okay, and then that it came down to my um first intermediate support over here, which is around one nine nine two. To 1930. Okay, and that bounce up a little bit. So I think that will bounce up from here. And I'm looking, let's say, if you were to buy from this level, the first TP is could be somewhere around here, which is 2000. Okay. From the uh like here. If you buy from here, your first TP should be like 2000 It's a round number. Okay. But if let's say if you will drop from here, my next move in H4, sorry, H4 here, gonna be at this level. Why? Because last Friday, okay, price came down and then I was thinking like, okay, in H4, because price is mega lower low, I mean, mega lower high here. And then I, okay, I was thinking like, okay, if price could break below first support, it should continue to come down. But then I think the middle of the night, there's a wall and then price shoot up all the way up to like 2007. If you were to zoom and then you move to the left, okay, this is like, you know, my first um resistance in head for which somewhere around here, which is 0 0.6, uh, sorry, 2006, which is price came up and then this morning it came out. All right. Do you have any position open for gold so far? Okay, so this is my view for gold for today. Okay. Um, in head four, I saw there is a belly divergent as well here. Is this? Let me see. Oh, here. Oh, like here. Like here. Okay, I believe the price could come continue to come down because what you can see here, very really big bearish candle in head four, and then there is a bearish divergence, so price could still falling to the first support. All right, for the goal, or uh, okay, let me just look at the e mm -hmm. wow, EU is rising because of that's the news as well, right? Today. Okay, for this is my first resistance here. If you were to short now, you have to go to the lower time frame M15 to wait for the um, confirmation and then you sell. All right. This is my first resistance and this is my second resistance. It's over here. Okay, this, this one. And I think this... um. Wrong. Okay, this could be the thick. You can see that 38 and 61.8 percent FIP level. So that would be 61 and 38.2 percent. Where is my okay? Right here. Okay, so you guys can see here, right here. All right, what you can see over here, price rise to first resistance and then you can see a little bit of pullback over here okay let me see okay you will see like that i'll still wait okay because i like to wait for the confirmation before i place the order okay for the eu usd um you can have any pair you want me to have a look any go all right, let me look at the GU, GBP USD as well. So far for um, 
daily time frame. Okay, I, I was thinking that, okay, let's say if price break below this like, swing low here, okay, I'll, I'm kind of like want to wait for price to pull back and then I'm going to sell over here. Yeah, but then it seemed like price is could not go below this, like this level, which is so may have a lot of weak over here. Right here in the time frame. So look ahead for what you can see here. When the price came down to, um, which is, this is a week, okay, the body and the week here. I want you to zoom in to H4. What you can see here, the price came down, which is, if you were to see it captured at this body, and then it rising already. So from this like 2090, it's go up until, it's about 10, 10 pip. I just said 10, 10 over pip already from here. Okay, so, uh, meaning that I believe in head four. Okay. I'm gonna switch to this one. Okay. So meaning that there will be something in this level, like, you know, here. That's why pride came down and then rising. Okay. This is my first resistance is gonna be here. Okay, which is if you were to draw FIBO, it's like up 38 and 61.8% FIB level. But I myself, I still wait for the price to come up until here. I'm not going to sell. Okay, because now if you were to look at um H4, you can see that price is still ranging. Okay, in H4. So I'm still waiting either price break below or break above for resistance. I'm going to wait to sell here. The reason why, because the there is 61.8% and then there is a um, supply zone over here. Okay, like what you can see here. I highlight somewhere here. Okay, so I'm gonna sell here. And um, I think for this level, uh, what we think, seen, I'm waiting since like last, um, last week or last two weeks ago, but I could not come up until here. Okay. So if you, let's say if you were to sell um at this level, you can wait, okay. But right now, to me, I'm still don't have any position for the GBP USD because price is still ranging, okay. So let just uh let it run first, okay. Okay, this is gonna be my um the one resistant. Go back. I just see the level you mark, okay, for the EU. Okay, for this one. Okay. Um for the EUR USD, okay, this is my first um resistance. Okay. Okay, the reason why I pick here, even like if I pick here, because I last Friday, uh price came up to here only, and then there's a long week. So I just put this at the first um resistance. Okay, but um, like last week, no, not last week, should be this happened on 25th October. Actually, I was waiting like around this level, you know, because like to sell, like to sell from here, because there is like a supply zone here, and there will be somewhere about 50% FIB level, but then price is only come up until here and then all the way down. Okay, so I'm still either like, either waiting at this area. Th this area I will, I will be uh, watching if the price come to this zone and then there is any uh, confirmation in low time frame, which is M5, M15, and then I will sell. Okay, but at the moment, priority at first resistance, right now but i'm not selling yet because there is no confirmation for me unless m5 ending with pride action or m15 have the red color i mean the candle and then i will consider to to sell from this um level okay let's say even to sell now you can sell now if you want 
sometimes I sell now. If you ask me, I'm sell now here, like selling now. My SL is going to be at above this week, okay? And then I target my TP for the scalping is here. Like my to be here. Because it really go above this week and then meaning that I think the woman might go all the way to second resistance. Okay, so like here and then your TP at least like one to one or at least like maybe you target here should be like your RR bridge reward should be one to one. Okay. But um I still uh don't place any um sale yet because I don't see any confirmation in the lower time frame. Okay, I will wait for the either M5 or uh M15 to close. Okay. For okay, so did the level. To you, I will say, um, uh, okay. Oops. You to ask me to to confirm an invalid support and or resistant. Um, it's to make it easy, like easier to understand, which is, uh, when you draw support and resistant, right? Let, let me draw like go for you. Okay. Like here. Okay. You go to either H4. Maybe easy for you to identify or you can go like H1. Let's say you draw in H1, right? It's my support and resistance. Definitely here. Why I pick here? Why I don't pick here? Okay. This week, I don't put at my first support. Okay. I may put at my um like intermediate support meaning that this is just a week and then price break above this uh, have a rejection meaning that if I put like that if the price came down okay I will like monitor with the price break above or break below or any rejection but in this case price break below but my um support level is here this is my first support level why I pick here because um like, you know, price all the way, like, make, uh, like, you know, lower, low, low, high, and then price break below here. Okay, so this is my uh, resistance level. Like, like this is my resistance level because when price come to this, like, this level, what you can see here, rejection, and after that, this uh, um, have really, like, you know, selling from this level. So this is my resistance uh resistance level and price break above so now i'm waiting for price to pull back now price already pull back at my first um support and then what you can see here in h1 price action right for this one that's why touches and then price is rising from like 1990 let's just say to 1997 it's about 6, 60 60 60 to 70 pip already okay and if you also ask me where is my second um support, I pick here. I, uh, I will pick somewhere here. You ask me why I pick here, why I don't pick here. Like you ask me, some people say here this is uh, that support. No, this is not my support. My support is below here because what you can see here, you to be resistant, price break above. Then you can see that a lot of weak, a lot of rejection over here. And I don't... I did not draw at like this week, this week, or this week. I draw at the level. And what you can see here, price came, and then it's the body is closed above this level. Rejection, rejection, and then all the way, boom, go up. Okay, so the, I identify this as my second support. All right. And you, if you want to use a Fibonacci to support your level you can see that okay when you draw FIBO and then you pull out or uh, Fibonacci level what you can see here there's a 50 percent and here is 78 percent so sometime you might have to like monitor this it may consider okay let's say if price came to this level you may monitor that okay is there a rejection and then you might buy from here okay but in this case I will put here and then you know, um, I will put this 50, 
this what you can see here, fifty percent are rise up already, and here, okay, this one I just um put at uh fifty percent. Okay, this is like you know in the H four uh sorry H one it look like this, and now it's already break break my intermediate support. I don't, I just leave it like this. Oh, okay. Um, what you can see in H, uh, in H four it look like this. Okay, you may adjust a little bit. I can uh at the body. Like I said, when you draw support and resistance, it doesn't matter if you want to draw at the wick or the body. Okay, you just have to look on your left all the way to your left, that price is intersecting, and then you can just pick the level. Okay, like this one, resistance break above become support. Okay. And people say this is the level, but I don't I don't pick this level, I pick this. Okay. Okay, now let's move to uh the pair, another pair, which is okay. For this um yes DJPY, if you were to look at the daily time frame, right? Like here. Excuse me. There is a very divergent in daily time frame. Um what you can see here, very divergent. It's double click, you can see very clearly. Okay, very divergent. Um versus RSI, all right? That's why price still coming down. And then we zoom and we should switch to head four over here. Okay. So I draw, um, let's just say second resistance at the body. Like I say, it doesn't matter. I always say you want to draw here at the wick, but then you have to ask yourself that if that makes sense, that you know within four hour private go up to second resistance or first resistance right so basically i just move here that at the body and then i will just like say identify that okay my second resistance is uh, at this level which is have um multi swing high okay and then first resistance you to look at the left here it used to be um resistance level, break above, supposed to be support level here, right? So like I think last Friday I put this as my second uh first support because I thought okay, price could you know make a pull back and then still buy, right? But then price break below. So this change to my first resistance. And then price still coming down. I was waiting, okay, let's say. In head four, if this candle is close below the first support, I'm going to wait for the pie to pull back and then I'm going to sell. But it's just that, you know, after came to this um like level first support and then have uh, rejection and then it's bounce from here. So for the UJ, I don't have any positions for me. You just wait for the breakout for support. Okay. And then you sell here. Okay, over here. Okay, so because if you want to look at head four, price still um ranging over here, right? So if you want to buy now, I don't think you get a good position. It's just like middle of the road already. Just wait for price to close below for support and then you wait for price to pull back and then you sell here and then your tp you target which is over here but let's say if you sell your tp you just this is your tp okay tp you always target at the body is not the weak okay always at the body is not the weak you you want to sell your this one should be you are uh, take profit even though even though I identify this is my second um like support over here. Yeah, I put it at my second support. Oh, yeah, but always put your TP at the body, it's not the wick. Because sometimes, you know, um price came down almost touching the wick and then it's reverse. Okay, always put at the bodies. And then your stop loss, let's say, let's say if you were to um to buy from this and then your stop loss just below the week. Okay, not at the body. Okay. 
And then I just change this as my um, support. Um, to measure su support or resistance, is it a candlestick? Um, okay. If you want to, if you want to practice how to identify support and resistance, you need to look at the charge, and then you can make it like smaller, like this. Let me just um find another the another pair. Let's say you cat, right? Okay. I tell you, I sell you cat now. I already making the money. Okay. Let's say. I don't draw. Okay. You saw me like this, right? What you can identify, what you can see. When you see, you look to your left as well. You can see that, okay, this is the resistance level. Okay. You zoom in head four. You pick this at your swing high, right? And then you zoom here. This one could be fake back out like this one. Could be fake back out, right? Okay. But I put this as my first resistance. Okay, that's why I'm sell. Okay, here. And where is my um first support? Okay, my first support, it could be here. It's too close. If too close like this, right? I just put this as my intermediate um um support because it's really close to the um first resistance and I think there is a um, valid divergent as well in uh, head four. Okay. You... okay. Okay. You double click uh, RSI and then you can see it's very really clearly, right? Okay. And that's okay. So there is a valid divergent versus the RSI. That's what I sell. If you were to ask me where is my uh, actual, um, Support which is here. This is my first support. Okay. Why I pick here? Because this are new to be resistance level. If you were to uh the trick is that if you don't know really the don't know how I to identify support resistance, you just switch to the light chart. Whatever I always say, whatever if you see capital like capital A. Is a resistance level, capital V is support level. Okay, what you can see, this is really sharp, capital A. Okay, and where is my um second support? My second support I will pick here. Okay, but again, if you use light charts, right, then you switch back to the can the candle. Sometimes you might have to like, you know, um, adjust the level like the body or the wick. For example, you always say like, okay, I draw, I, like you say you draw at the wick. Let's say I draw at this wick. Do, do you think that is a good level? No. Because, you know, cutting this uh, candle, you need to, what about you draw at the body? What you can see that when you draw at the body, resistance, Rejection, 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 break above, price came down to test the support level and then got rejection as well three times. After that, price is rising all the way up here. Okay, so this is how I identify support resistance. Okay, so now I'm watching this level. If price break below this, my TP is here. This is my TP for my sale order. It's here, not at the uh, support. I always put at the body of the candle or maybe my TP just before the support level, okay? And another confirmation is, like I said, that there is a balance diversion that I hold, okay? Uh, okay. Yes, I'm using default, which is 14. Okay, you know, if you, if you reset, it will look like that, right? Okay, the eye sign, it will look like that, right? Usually, I don't use all this, okay? To me, I like to keep it simple. 
you can still use like upper or like uh is it lower no um lower band you can use like can keep you can like keep this the light if you want to uh but i don't use this one why this i don't know why this uh, uh sometimes you want to keep this on also can okay I just leave it like that. Maybe I make a bit tighter. The color, you can change whatever you want. Okay, and now you can see. It's easy for you to identify. Like I say, I'm use um eyes eye to help me to uh, find divergence and sometimes also can help you to like, like, you know, see overboard or also. But my main eyes eye I use is to find uh, divergence. Okay. Where is your stop lot? You mean... When I sell this one, right? My stop loss is just above this week. This week, above this week, which is I go to M fifteen. Is my stop loss here? At this week, okay. Meaning if if price is go above this um uh, week, right? Meaning they will uh five um second resistance which is all the way up to me if it, if like i sell and then it hit my stop lot so i will wait at my um you know second um resistance which is i will fight again okay you see if it, okay if you if you look like that in h4 which is also very tight right because actually i go to h1 uh m15 and then you can see here yeah here okay and then now it's all the way down all right Chip. you see if you were to look at daily time frame okay what you can see here this is your week here okay and then you see that okay these are like close above is yeah may close above but then um i draw and i wait for pride to come down and then like i say i saw the bell is divergent in h4 that's why i sell okay the divergent if happen as um a uh, higher time frame like h4 daily or h1 usually it's very really strong okay to me the price still can come down even more maybe yeah like to here i think at least maybe at least here at least like this level I do this devil and then what you can see here um price is always always over bought as well okay um um okay for some people they are don't wait for the confirmation there will be some trader okay they when the price is at resistance they just buy or they just sell they don't wait for the confirmation okay it's up to you but to me i like to wait for the confirmation which is lower time frame like sometimes you may not get a good position because when the price risk at first resistance okay and then you wait for the confirmation like maybe m15 or m30 price is might already come down for example like price came here i don't sell here I, let's say i sell here and then i may not get a good entry but i know that there is a confirmation that price will coming down okay what you can see here and then to me i go to like m at least m15 or m5 even m5 m15 to wait for the confirmation now price is already rise up i don't have my phone with me maybe i have let me see. Uh, uh and no, uh, another phone. I cannot close my position also. Cannot do it. Bounce up already, but it's okay. I I hope like it not go all the way up. <laughs> it's another phone. Okay. All right. So um, let's just wait. Let's just go for another. pair okay let's just look at AUD USD okay for AUD USD first like okay this is my um technical analysis this morning I think now it's already rising here okay what you can see over here okay I what you can see I draw this line I thought that this could be my intermediate resistance but then price is already broke above so 
I remove this one. Okay. And I put this as my first resistance, which is here. And this is my second resistance. This is my support level. Okay. I think that will be... Okay, what you can see here, my second uh, resistance is light up with 127 extension. Okay, here. Okay, um, for somebody asking me, how can you use harmonic one you thought? Okay, harmonic pattern. How many pattern you need to look at the chart, right? So far, I don't see how many pattern here, but first, okay, let's go back to the uh GBP. For the for for harmonic pattern, usually we are looking for the pattern like this, like a W pattern or like a M pattern for harmonic pattern, right? This is how, but I don't see that harmonic pattern over here yet. But in the GBP, I thought like, okay, the daily time frame, I was like, okay, this might be like a harmonic pattern, which is, but but it's not very really nice. Um, I thought like, okay, this could be like, Okay, that pipe come down here. Like uh maybe butterfly for this one. But then I asked the uh, Desmond, okay. It's not really like really nice because of the this like this movement over here. And then I zoom in to H like um uh H4. Like this this movement here is not nice. So that's why I think, okay, this is not harmonic pattern already. Because I thought like, okay, maybe I think that come there. But then you can see the price bow off from the post support. So because of this moment, so not very nice harmonic pattern. Like I say harmonic pattern, you need to see the pattern, uh, like the bill or M pattern, and then you, we will, you wait for the reversal. For example, let's say if you find the pattern like that, Okay, maybe here. Okay. Uh, maybe it's not a good one. Like M pattern, for example. How many? Okay, wait. Um, if you see like that, always remember that how many pattern I see cannot go above A level. Okay, and then if you see like that, meaning price end with the D point, we will wait for the, we will buy or at the reversal, potential reversal zone, which is here, D point might have con, uh, like a lot of confidence to be like a Fibonacci extension um, or there could be projection. That's me, like, right? Uh, could be, uh, let's say that is uh, ending at extension 127. Okay, for example, just a quick recap. Oh, and then you can draw FIBO projection here. A, B, C. There will be like some uh, light up over here. In this case, I did not, I did not put my uh, extension over here, but let's say. This should be... Let's just, I see, PC butterfly. Let's say, not butterfly. Like, there should be a lot of, like, feeble conference over here. And then you buy from this uh, potential reversal zone or PRC zone somewhere around here, okay? But you need to wait for the um harmonic pattern to form the pattern. And then after that, we play reversal zone, like reversal, okay? Uh, it's different from the Elliott wave, right? Because Elliott wave uh, can help you to predict the price movement where the price will be ending 
Okay, but for harmonic pattern, usually we wait for um it from the pattern and then we uh we uh we we buy or sell at the uh uh ending of point D. Okay. And um I don't use any indicator except I side. I do I do use um Fibonacci and I side, that's all. Uh, maybe one is a while. Sometimes I will use a uh, uh EMA, okay, which is EMA. I use EMA two hundred. Okay, I use uh EMA two hundred to help me to identify the trend. I use EMA two hundred. Okay, the color is up to you. You can use whatever color you want. I uh, in this case I'm using blue. Okay, what you can see here, even sometimes you can use uh, Ichimoku Cloud as well, but I uh, use EMA 200 to at least, you know, help me to identify that. Okay, price is above EMA 200, I buy. Okay, and price is below EMA, you sell. Okay, like you see, price is below EMA and then react at EMA 200 and then all the way down here. Okay, so this is, the only indicator I, I'm using uh Fibonacci and ISI. And sometimes maybe I will use uh, another one, which is uh, stochastic, which I teach you guys. Stochastic I'm using, which will be um, the number, uh, where my stochastic? Which is, I'm using the, um, the setting, which is 2133. Okay, so if you want to change, you can, which is already, I think we already teach you guys, right, about um, stochastic and ISI. Okay, this is the only indicator, but can say that like 95% I'm using um, ISI and um, Fibonacci. Okay. Uh... I mean, still go back to see because it bounced up already. I haven't closed my trade. Okay, I'm done with this one as well. Did I cover this already? I covered this already, right? Oh, okay. Um, any question, guys? Oh, sorry. Any question? Uh yeah, I I think I already teach you guys. Maybe some of you guys missed the uh, um the session. We do teach Fibonacci for all Fibonacci extension, expansion, and projection. And I did teach stochastic and RSI already. Um the video. Uh this one I need to check with uh, Desmond because I'm not sure whether Tick New they do upload on um on the YouTube or not, but uh not to worry guys, because let's say maybe we can replace um the the, the session again. You just have to keep uh a look out on your email because every time I think the marketing they will send out the email, even I myself I also receive the notification, you know, they will tell you that like you know which topic uh will be teaching. Let's say uh, maybe three to four months later, um, I may be, uh, you know, covering the Fibonacci again, but because I think I just touched that not so long ago. So, yeah, maybe three to four months later, I'll be teaching again. Okay, just just uh, keep a lookout on your email, all right? Because let's, if you know how to use Fibonacci, you will it will make your life very easy okay you know when you trade and then of course you need to know how to identify support and resistance correctly okay okay let's move on to oil what about oil here let me look at um 
daily time frame. What you can see here in daily time frame. Uh, okay, over here, I'll put here as my first part. And what you can see, intermediate resistance over here. Again, go to head four. Price is still ranging. Okay, here, just like that in H1. I mean, in H4, it ranging first and first support, first resistance. So in this case, right, when you see like this, I'm not going to trade this pair because price is still really indecisive here. Okay, it's my like, you know, either you like sideways here and then either you wait for price to break above this, pull back, you buy, or back below, pull back, you sell. So in like this, right, you no need to trade for this pair because it's still ranging in H4. But if you're scalping, yeah, of course, if you go to the lower time frame and then I believe you can see, right, H H1, there is nothing. M30, still nothing. So this trade, no setup. Okay, now, what you can see here, if the scalping, you buy, you buy here, your TP here, your TP, which is this week. You see? Already your TP. I mean, for scalping, yeah, what you can see here, if you, if you look at go and then you know their behavior, behavior, okay, it's always at the week. You can see here, price came up here, rejection, and then now they try to go above. Do you think they can go up? It might go up, but this is the level. This is the level that you might have to watch out, which is two thousand, the round number. Okay, fifty percent here bounce up already. Uh, okay, let's just look at the um US thirty. Any any one of you guys uh trade the EDCs? Let me see. Okay, it's okay. This is I missed this trade. Like this morning, I was thinking that okay, um, not this morning, like fr Friday. Oh, that's raining, very really heavy rain over here. Okay, what you can see here, if you know how to use Fibonacci, right? Okay, you you will put this as your first support because you do have a uh, projection from daily time frame here, drop projection from here to here, 78.6 projection, which is two. And then I go to H4, also have another projection here. And then what you can see here, I I, I highlighted the zone and then price bounce off from this one. So now I'm waiting for price to pull, which is last Friday, right? Price is break below this support level. I can You can see that like back below this and then it pull back and then boom which is here you say order okay these are overlap so now price is going up again let's say it will go up to here or here it might come down okay we need to wait for confirmation but here what you can see here pull back like two rejection and then falling for the um u s thirty okay there are those indicator it's still the norm to shame to um wait even though they are all those indicator is still random the chances to to fall into direction to the indication what do you mean <laughs> i don't understand sorry change into direction or the indicator show right uh, which indicator okay I tell you, there is so many indicator, but again, if you trade and then you only based on indicator, um, I, I mean like we cannot trade only based on indicator, okay? Um, I always say the less is the better, meaning that let's say 
if you were to look at the charts like this, can you know, can you track? I think I can based on only like whatever I can see here. First, like you see, you need to identify support and resistance. This could be your resistance, right? This could be a, your support. Why? This is used to be your support level. One, two, a few times, probably reject. Okay. Rejected, rejected here, break. Price break below, it becomes your support level. And then you wait for price to pull back here, you sell. This is your order. And second resistance should be maybe somewhere here. I just put at this my, I just put at this one. Like my second, like the quick one, okay. Um, Why are you putting the support at the week? Maybe you meet the section, is it? Okay. Again, guys, you draw or you identify support and resistance. It doesn't matter. You can put at the week. You can put at the body. But you need to fine tune, for example. Let's say if I put this, you see the body. It captures my resistance level. Let's say if I put this at the week here, do you think that I will I I I have confidence to sell here? Let's let's say you put this one, you would think that it's a nine level. No, because at the week it's cutting the body, it's cutting the body here. So this is not your uh support or your resistance. But what about if you just adjust your level at the bo at the body? What you can see here, the body here. Price came to this level, rejection. Try to break below support level. Okay, this is you to be your support level, yeah. Rejection, rejection. Cannot close below this support level, and after that price break below. It become your resistance level. What what that is what that I mean by um break below the support level. The body, this candle is close below support level, it's become resistant, right? After that, here, right, pull back to this resistance, it came down because one is the close below, okay, it's already break support level and this candle is try to go back up again and then you, what you can see they have a lot of selling pressure over here pushing the price down and this candle as well okay so this i identify at my resistance level okay okay i'm going to launch um the poll i hope you guys can help me what all right the webinars um um, I forgot what is the next um topic. So next topic for the um next Monday is gonna be education section. It's gonna be me. Okay, I will be teaching, but I for I forgot what is the topic already. Okay, but you will see me for the education uh educational um section. All right. For the fifth Bonanchi, uh, I think let me go back and check again when I teach when did I touch you guys um the the session and then I think maybe three to four months later or maybe I might be being back again for you guys. All right. Um I'm I don't think so there will be recording. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how to. Okay, guys. Thank you so much, guys, for your time for today. Okay. Hope to see you guys again for next um, webinar. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good day. All right. Stay safe. Stay safe. Take care. Bye for now.